Hi, my name is Dan Webb. I'm owner of Advantage Trailer, and this is one of our most recent creations uh, built for a lady that runs a retail clothing store and a mobile fitting uh, trailer. Um, how we go about this, we first uh, talk to the client, find out what their uh, dreams and expectations are. We try and work all those details through right down to the final finish. We're going to take you on a tour now and show you what the trailer is all about. This trailer was built with an all aluminum frame to keep it lightweight so it could be easily moved from one location to the next. Right in the front here is a power shore cord so you could plug into land power if you need it. Um, down here is a stabilizer jack so you can put four of those on each corner so it stabilizes the trailer it's not moving around. Over here we have the uh, generator on board. We only use uh, Cummins Onan which is a super quiet uh, generator and this generator is basically only going to power up the lights and an air conditioner. Okay for leveling the trailer we include a nice uh, battery operated uh, gun and you just put it on the uh, socket there and lower down and for securing leveling to go up reverse the order snug it so it's level to the ground. It's all ready. Moving down the side, the trailer has a uh, gas filler for the uh, uh, generator, and that way the uh, tank is on board underneath the frame of the trailer. Also, you'll notice our spread axle design, which helps in towing, keeps the trailer very stable. First thing we're doing is we're unclipping the uh, awning and then we're releasing the tension on the knob in the back. Same thing on this side. Loosen the clip. Unloosen the uh, knob there a little bit. Come up to the top. We're going to flip this down. Yeah, that's not a good job. There we go. And we're ready to go. Sure. Putting the tension arm back, slide all the way up, lock into place, and turn your set knob in. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now, for taking down, we reverse the order. Release it, send the arms all the way down. Okay, then we're going to do the release on top. And down here, we're going to backwards order. We'll tighten the uh, knobs up and lock the uh, clips right. in place. Before you enter the door, just give it a step, a pull out. It works on shocks, so when it goes back in, it snaps right into place. It won't fall out when you're traveling. All right, opening the door, we go into the trailer, and we're going to latch the door open in case it's a windy day. Okay, the front door, we enter into the utility room. The shelf and the rack, coat racks up above, coat racks up above. Underneath here is our generator. And here we've got a couple batteries and a charger for the batteries. Okay, here's your, our main fuse panel. This is the automatic transfer relay, so when the generator is on, it automatically kicks off the power if it's plugged okay, in. Okay, starting the generator, you prime it by pushing down on the button until the orange light comes on. Orange light is on, push the top of the button. Starts up and runs. Shut it off, push the button. Over here the customer specs some uh, cubes for uh, displaying merchandise. The closet rods on the bottom so they can uh, hang some more uh, clothing to display it. Hidden back in there is a little thermostat. Down here it's got some nice uh, IKEA furniture. Plenty of storage. You got the drawers with the nice self closers. Same thing on this side, another set of uh, cabinets. And then down below here, we've got uh, some storage and drawers. And another uh, shelf and uh, able to display some more clothing there. Back here, we've got a drop down blind so that you can close it, uh, close off here. 
um, keep the bright sun out or I'm not sure if they're going to use this part as a dressing room. Um, up above here, we've got a track. We'll have a curtain in there for uh, a curtain. And then back here becomes a small dressing room. All right here's our light switches with a dimmer on it. Down. We're full speed. All right here we've got a custom mirror with the fluting and the rosettes in the corner. So a nice looking mirror so the uh, gals can look into the mirror and see how things fit. And uh, that's about it. So now all we're doing is we're going to send this thing down to Houston, Texas. And uh, our customer down there is going to put it to work and make some money for herself.